Hello and welcome to section 3.2. We continue on with derivatives. In section 3.1, we thought of the derivative as something that happens at a fixed number. So we fix a number x sub zero, and then we take the derivative at x sub zero. From here on out, though, we're going to think of the derivative as a function that takes numbers as its input and gives the rate of change at that number as the output. In addition to introducing that idea, we'll ask the question of whether a derivative always exists. That is to say, if a function is defined at a point, does it have an instantaneous rate of change at that point? 